All right, Steve, you get the other words. Paul Newitt with Pedal Magazine here with Steve Bauer um, at the Cycling BC fundraiser event. Um, so, Steve, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm always willing to help uh, the sport, and uh, I had an invitation from Richard Wolves and uh, Cycling BC to come out for this fundraiser, and um, it's definitely important in, in every aspect of the sport when you have um, leaders such as Richard that really want to make a difference uh, you know, when, within his community, and right now it's, it's British Columbia. Um, he seems to have a fairly good strategic plan behind him and some, some good momentum and some great athletes, of course, here tonight. And so um, it's important that, that uh, the people like myself and, and Swain and, and other uh, athletes that have achieved great things come out and support the, the new initiatives because that's the future of our sport. So just happy to be here. Awesome. Uh, the future of the sport. Uh, let's go into the past a little bit with uh, the changes that have happened since you've been involved in the sport. Have you seen some really um, great things happening as far as support for Canadian cyclists? Uh, how do you how do you see it all going? We can always do better. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm always one to look look forward uh, on the positive. And, and um, it, it, interesting enough, you know, Canada we've had great success with uh, some some phenomenal athletes through through the years. You know, starting with Alex Steed and. Now Zach Bell and Allison Sider was just inducted into the Hall of Fame, um, Olympic silver medal with the ladies team pursuit team. Um, you know, you, you just can, can keep going on and on. Uh, Brian Walton at the Olympics. Uh, we have some great athletes, but you know, we seem to, to you know be hit and miss with the, with the momentum. And we have a great opportunity now with the Milton Velodrome coming for the Pan Am Games. Um, I think it's just a real opportunity that that we can drive the sport. You know, right from the youth development, right through the you know, Olympiasm and World Championships with Canadian cycling uh, and, and pro sport after that. You know, uh, with the professional team, we, we had a really good shot at professional men's team and uh, we set some guys on their course in that professional world. But I think now it's time to look at that intermediate, you know, junior through under 23 group, men and women, you know, focus on the Olympics and, and drive the next sector of the sport forward. Excellent. So what's your involvement over the next uh, part of your career? We'll uh, see. Yeah. We'll see. Um, you know, I, I, I've been asking a lot of questions, uh, Cycling Canada and, you know, different different people. Because um, I'm still here and I think I'm a great resource, can help a lot. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, you know, next steps and uh, I haven't nailed that down yet. But I think, you know, taking that bit of time to, to look at what, what I can do for Canadian cycling is important right now because, you know, I'm not a young spunk anymore, so the next choice will have to be a good one. So you're going to be you're, you're, you're pro at the endurance events now. That's what happens to us old guys. Yeah, well, <laughs> I've definitely been enjoying riding the bike this year. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that, that helps you think and think about cycling and think about the sport a lot. You know, when you're on your bike, that's probably the best place. Yeah, on the track at all anymore? No, I haven't ridden the track for a while, but I'm certainly looking forward to get on that Pan Am Games Velodrome. It's going yeah. to be a spectacular. They're going to give you a special VIP pass, I'm sure. So, Well, yeah. can't wait to hit the boards. It'll be fun. It'll yeah. be really fun. All right. Nice talking to you. Thanks. Thanks.